Hello again. I was never really all that enthusiastic about the COVID business. Let's face it, old people die all the time of chest infections. And although this is, of course, regrettable, it shouldn't stop the rest of us from getting on with our lives and enjoying ourselves. This sounds heartless, but nobody lives forever. When a bunch of sick people in their 80s takes ill and dies, it's pretty much in the natural scheme of things. This complacent attitude, which most of us share, I think, changed dramatically a couple of years ago, and we all became really, really concerned about old people getting chest infections and dying. It didn't really affect ordinary people who had no more chance of dying than usual, but suddenly everybody was going mad about excess deaths. That is to say, those above the five-year average for any particular week. It was like the plague, the worst disaster since the Second World War. I need not remind people of the mass hysteria which gripped the population in this country. Speaking for myself, I've never worn a face mask, although I would sometimes put a kefir over the lower half of my face, lending me the appearance of an Arab terrorist, more in mockery of others than because I thought it would protect anybody from my germs. Everybody has stopped fretting about COVID now, which is a relief. What very few people seem to have noticed, though, is that more and more people are dying every week now, and that deaths are 15% higher than the five-year average. The majority of these deaths have no connection at all with COVID. The number of such deaths is on the rise, and whereas almost all the deaths during the COVID business were old people, mostly with pre-existing health conditions, these are different. They cover all of age ranges, including children and babies. More children are dying than usual, and so are young people, middle-aged people, and all sorts of others who are not sick old people. In short, there is a very serious situation developing where an ever-increasing number of younger people are dying before their time. I can hazard a guess as to what is causing this, and I'm sure that viewers will have their own ideas. What is really weird is that the people like the BBC, who were so fantastically keen on working up a scare over COVID, are just ignoring the fact that we are now in the midst of a genuine health emergency, which is killing all sorts of people of all ages. You will not see the latest figures being mentioned on the news, even though they are comparable with those which used to provoke such anxiety in the days of COVID. In the description to this video, I give a link to these figures, which were published this morning by the Office for National Statistics, and viewers can see for themselves what I mean. There is dead silence about this, although all the signs are that it's going to get much worse as the winter draws on. Have a look at the graph and you'll notice something very odd. The first spike of COVID deaths back in March 2020 was accompanied by a huge spike of deaths which had nothing at all to do with COVID. Something was going on at that time and we cannot blame COVID for it, and this is only now becoming apparent. I think that there will be more and more coming out about this business in the next few months. In the meantime, I earnestly suggest that viewers keep an eye on the figures which are released every Tuesday morning by the Office for National Statistics. They really are making some very interesting reading. 